Okay, today is window day. Uh, watched a lot of different videos about putting in one of these CR Lawrence windows into a ProMaster. Uh, some of the videos make it look pretty easy. You just follow the template that's already inside the uh, sliding door. Others, I'm not real sure what they were doing. They were butchering the hell out of their van. Uh, hopefully it goes smooth. Uh, I should be nervous about this, but not really. So let's take a look. We're going to be putting a window right there. That's the template inside the uh, van that I'm talking about. Uh, one of the first things that needs to be done is I'm going to have to cut this brace out, which I can just use a grinder once I make some straight lines. Uh, taped up a few holes, make sure no metal shavings get in. I'm also going to throw down a tarp uh, along the floor. I've already got uh, cardboard down to prepare protect my uh, wood floors and I'll probably hang something up here in just a second to protect my cab. All right, let's open this thing up, take a look at it before I do anything. Kind of going slow here because it's not calling for rain, but I just felt a couple of sprinkles. Before I cut anything, it's probably best that I uh, inspect it, make sure it's not broke. Don't want to have a hole in my van and find out that the window can't be installed. Everything looks okay. All right. So, I'm going to have a straight line here across where these are so I can cut this brace out. I think the easiest way to do that. Just use... This is connected, just some sealant. I just have to pull that free. All right, that's loosened up pretty good. Now I'm gonna use the grinder with the cutoff wheel, cut across that line right there. Now, I have to admit, I've not used a grinder. Uh, so I am just a little bit nervous about this part. That looks pretty cool. I wonder if we can do it in slow mo. Are you getting hit? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Brace is out. Now I'm going to start going through with a 1 8 bit I believe and drilling guide holes so that I can then take the jigsaw and cut that out all right here we go first hole into the van One. 
Got some holes. Now I just need to connect all the holes, tape her up, and cut it. I went ahead and went over my line with uh, the Sharpie just so I could see it on the outside of the tape uh, a little bit more clearly. What I'm going to do now is a couple of pilot holes so I can get my drill started or my uh, jigsaw started. Mike, right on the edge of the... No, you got about a quarter inch where you're at right now. Shit. That's a, Hey, just get the first cut done. And... Moving to the other side. All right, ready? I got the window cut out. Uh, I did a little bit of trimming. I kind of uh, was conservative on my cut because I saw that a lot of people were saying that uh, they were cutting too much and it wasn't fitting properly. Well, I had basically had to follow the template completely. I do notice on my corners, I'm a little bit off. So I'm hoping I have a good seal. Uh, I've already filed things down, so I got rid of most of the burrs. I'm now going to uh, touch all the spots with Rust-Oleum. Uh, make sure that everything's covered so that I don't have any rust. I will say one thing. Make sure that you are preparing the inside for all the shavings that are going to take place. That was the one thing that really bothered me was how much uh, metal shavings were going all over the place. You doing bottom first or top first? Don't matter. Right, let's try bottom first. Yep, let's do top first. Okay. So far, so good. Made the holes too big, the hole, the window hole too big. Here's the bottom. Oh, shit. 
Like I said, you know, I made the hole too big. So those are supposed to screw into the metal? You gotta take it out. I need to see what's what the problem is. All right, pull it out. See, it should be holding by compression. Bring it around to the back. Okay, after having a, uh, a little bit of difficulty, found out that, and this is something, it didn't make any sense to me, but when I was looking at other people's videos, they were measuring this frame to get their template to cut. Well, you don't really measure this frame. You measure the window. Uh, so this frame here sits on the outside and sticks out. So you have this lip here that pinches everything. So now we're going to do a water test. Give it a good spray, Ruben. I think we're good. All right, so anyways, I kept thinking that this lip had to go against the door frame. And all the videos I watched, I didn't see it that way. Oh, I gotta screw that one in a little bit more. Still got some screws to tighten up, but window is in. So I'm feeling pretty happy right now. You know what I mean?